I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on infinite geometric series. The question here is, when between 5 and 6 o'clock are the hands of a clock together? Four options are given to you. Now I am going to use a different method here uh, which is algebraic method instead of uh, infinite series to solve. Let's first try to understand the question itself. So, so let's say this is our clock where 5 and 6 o'clock really means that so that is uh, 12 and this is 6 so we have 3 and 9 so somewhere here could be 5 that could be 4 so so the question is when between 5 and 6 o'clock are the two hands of the clock together so if you visualize between 5 and 6, uh, what we are looking for is that the smaller needle is the hour needle, which is, let us say, something like this. And the, the minute needle is over it. So that is the situation which we are looking for. Correct? So we want to figure out what should be the time. Now the concept to solve this type of question is that uh, let's say this is at we start at 5 o'clock so initially at 5 o'clock the position is kind of like this that the hour needle is is at 5 and the minutes needle is at 12 correct so what you need to understand here is that as the hour needle moves, I mean, as the minutes needle moves, hour needle also moves. So by the time the minutes are 25, that means this covers a distance up to here, the hour needle has moved further away, right? So they are not one over the other. So the idea is that uh, when minutes are moves let's say 60 steps in that time hours are moves how many steps five steps right so it will go from here to here right so one two three four and five moves five steps now to solve such questions we have to use same units so so what we are trying to say here is that in 60 steps 60 minute steps equals to 5 hour steps do you see that so that is the kind of movement so every minute how many steps will the hour arm move? It will be 5 over 60, which is 1 12th. Do you see that? So, so every time this minute arm moves, by one step, the hour arm moves 1 12th of a step. Okay, so, so this is the concept. So let us say that it takes m minute. So that means m minutes of steps. So in that case, m should be equal to distance moved by the uh, by the clock will be how much? For the minute steps, in m minutes, these steps will be how many? First, we'll take from 12 to 5, which is 25 steps. Plus, how much did the hour arm move? It moved m times 1 over 12. It moved m times 1 over 12, right? So this is the distance which was moved by the hour arm, right? Because it moves 1 twelfth of every minute. So that forms an equation and solving this equation, you can very easily get answer to such questions. 
So let's cross multiply, multiply everything by 12. So we get 12m equals to 25 times 12 plus m and then we have 12m minus m equals to let me write 25 times 12 and that is 11m right equals to so 300 now from here we can calculate what m is right so 4 times 3 is 12 so 300 is correct so we have m equals to 300 over 11 so let's use the calculator to get this value or you could do long division if calculator is not allowed so that divided by 11 gives you uh, as equals to 27.27 recurring now this could be rounded to 27.3 so c is the right option do you understand so now once you know this formula which is the number of minutes will be equal to initial time difference which is 25 right from here to here plus the hour hand will move m times 1 over 12 so that becomes an equation to solve for all such questions so I hope this step is absolutely clear right now based on this I have second question for you which is right here now I'd like you to solve this question when between 1 and 2 o'clock are the hands of a clock directly opposite feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe my videos that'd be great you can look for this solution in the next video thanks for watching and all the best